Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 6, A Fractured House, Thoughts, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. This video will have no spoilers for anything MCU that was released after this episode premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos that help explain why this is such a crucial strike. So, let's dive in. So, yeah. Uh, Hydra stage a shield attack, and yeah, very, very cool, creepy weapon that, you know, makes people melt. And, right, I, I quite like the, you know, when, when I first saw Grant, you know, work out and such, I didn't know that we were going to get into, like, his past and, and uh, you know, start questioning whether he was telling the truth about the well and such. But, yeah, you know... Yeah, somehow he just, he knows that, you know, now is, you know, what is it? It's I think it's like 5 a.m. every morning. He, you know, without anything to tell him what time it is, he wakes up and, and does the, you know, exercises and such. And I love that the camera remains still and it fades between the different workouts that Ward is doing to really underline, you know, he can't perceive anything beyond that, because right now the, you know, the wall is, is turned on. That's another thing that I'm not sure I have really, I, th I think it was this episode where it really, really hit me, like, when the wall is off. In reality, there's nothing separating the actors. So you have a scene that has the quality of an interrogation scene, but with the fiction that it's perfectly safe for the good guy because the other person, you know, can't get to them because there's an invisible wall there, you know. So you don't have to... The um, Brett Dalton playing Grant Ward isn't restrained, like, literally, physically, as you would, you know, there's a lot of interrogation scenes where one of the characters is straight up, like, handcuffed to a table or something, and it limits what they can do acting-wise. You know, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be doing it in real life, but, yeah, a very, very clever device. And, let's see, yeah, Sky and Simmons talk about Ward and about undercover work, which, yeah, good scene. And, um, the, the, let's see, yeah, Bobby Morris wearing a Star Wars t-shirt is in, yeah, you know, Marvel and Star Wars are both Disney properties, and yeah, we get the, yeah, we're told that Bobby and Lance will be on the same mission, you know, which, like, we could, we could see that this was where it was going, but... Yeah, you know, in the episode before this one, they're not on the same mission, they're in the same room some of the time, but here they straight up are, and yeah, um, I, I like that, you know, first Bobby, you know, talking to Coulson's like, are we sure about this, you know, and then afterwards Lance is the one who's, like, asking, is this really a good idea? And, yeah, uh, Talbot confronts the senator, and then we see, you know, Christian Ward. Which, that I... 
they actually call they name the character Christian Ward. That is just wow. I mean Christian Shepherd was taken in in their defense. And yeah, he goes on TV and we see the R next to his name. He is of course a Republican. That's yeah. No yeah, that's not surprising anyone. And then they mention witch hunt, which wow, I I I barely remembered that that was a phrase before Trump started abusing it, you know, but yeah, this was before the Trump campaign started, so yeah, but it it is it is very very accurate like yeah. And we're told that the Netherlands haven't changed. There's a lot of bikes and weed. And, yeah. Bobby and Lance almost immediately start bickering on the plane. And just, yeah, that was, yeah. Like, it's the kind of thing, like, theoretically, like... I'm not really a fan of that kind of setup, but so far I am really enjoying the writing and, and acting. And we see that Fitz and Simmons just are not functioning as a unit anymore, and this thing of, you know, he feels he needs certain things from her and she feels he's asking too much kind of thing and yeah sky and you know again really good scene you you get a sense like both of them you can understand where they're coming from and yeah sky and grant talk some about christian and Coulson cuts off the conversation when it turns to the her father. And, and Lance, I, I do, yeah, I should hate this, I really should. But so far, I thought it was funny, you know, Lance is like, you know, oh, Bobby is a master of deception. I mean that sincerely, not passive-aggressively. Like, I'm saying, as far as spycraft goes, it's a good skill to have, you know, just because he's been saying this since before. He used to say, you know, oh you can't believe a word she says kind of thing and now he's he's still saying the same thing but now he's like no no, no look i it's very boy who cried wolf and i'm i'm here for it i am and <laughs> the yeah it was it was kind of funny when when you know they're talking options and you know melinda says, okay, so option one, we go in shooting, we try to take out as many as possible. And and Lance is like, option two? Just 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 wanna just wanna hear it. You know, and okay, yeah, sure. Um she could go undercover, you know. And then and he's like, I I you know, I prefer option two. And then later, you know, yeah, Bobby is kissing Toshiro and May just turns to Lance, so do you still like option two? <laughs> Let's see. And it will, yeah, I, you know, great tension in the scene because it is the thing of do people know that she's a double agent for S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, and yeah, Toshiro does say, I heard that you're working for S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, and yeah, just really, really nicely done. And and Lance, you know, talking to May, 
and you know it doesn't doesn't last very many seconds before she she turns to him you know I don't like you right <laughs> and we learn that the obelix I mean obelisk is apparently known as the diviner and to Toshiro is hoping to get to try to work it very cool action uh, you know the the there's yeah characters shooting others and Bobby like fighting Toshiro and using like the uh, was it was it like a scarf or something just yeah very very cool and then Lance and Bobby bicker like an old married couple again. And let's see. Yeah, and I I quite like Colson like working Christian. You know, you have this thing of the you know I I rewrote your speech. It's much funnier this way, you know, and so you know he's he's saying I can make you say what I want. You know, I'm just setting the terms here. Just so we understand each other, you are a fiddle. I am amazing at playing fiddles. This is how it's going to be, you know. And the you know, he's like, oh, oh, uh, don't bother trying to call someone, you know, and there's just static on the phone. Also, your guards outside not going to be checking on you for an hour because you asked for some me time. And who can say no to that? You know, so, yeah, very nicely done. And then, you know, Colson, yeah, t talks to, talking to, to Christian says, you know, I know what you did to Grant with the well. And Christian, with just with just so few words, and just the performance and the whole thing, completely flips it and reverses it. So it's a well now. Because we... I don't know. It's I guess it's possible that some fans, you know, already made the, the connection before watching this episode back when it first aired but yeah like we only had Ward's word and we later learned that he's been lying I swear I'm not trying to do an alliteration thing so yeah very very clever just yeah and you know where yeah we're you know it is like this thing of well which of the two can we trust you know the the domestic terrorist or the you know hydra agent <laughs> okay so not all republicans are domestic terrorists they just all defend domestic terrorists but yeah just and and the line you know the i saw something else behind his eyes and yeah, the, you know, we have the line, now he's found, he always finds someone else to believe his lies. And it cuts, and we, actually, yeah, wait, I think that line might be spoken over Sky talking to, and, and it's like, oh no, you know, because she so badly wants to believe that Ward is telling the truth. And, you know, then, and, and yeah, Sky says, you know, Coulson isn't. Why you know the cameras are off? Colson's gone. Col Colson isn't here right now. We can talk. No one's gonna interrupt this conversation, you know. And then at the end of it, she says, "You're being transferred." And then we realize the conversation took place after Colson's conversation with Christian, not during. And it's a masterclass of of misdirection. Just because because. The thing is, when you intercut two scenes and you don't make it clear how they fit chronologically, if it makes sense, the audience is going to assume that they're happening concurrently. But, yeah, she lied. She she went down there saying, you know, Coulson isn't, 
you know, it's, I, I'm guessing they did turn the cameras off. I think he can tell. There's there's like a visual indication. But she goes down there. She's lying. Coulson knows that this conversation is taking place. He told her what to say. He told her what Christian said. And she steeled herself knowing Wards, you know, Grant is going to try to lie again. And yeah, very, very nicely done. And, yeah, Fitz, Simmons, and Mac all at once. I shortened it to FSM, which I, I gotta now remember that that no longer, to me, stands for Flying Spaghetti Monster. But, but yeah, you know, the... the This thing of, of, like, Mac is, Mac can help Fitz, you know, um, focus better, and Simmons, at least right now, really can't. And we learn that there's more than one Beckers, which, like, you know, just very, very nicely, it work. Yeah, that they might, yeah, that the Beckers that they thought it was might not be the Beckers, that it's, you know, just, yeah, very, very nicely, because they only did hear the, the last name, and it, 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 right, and actually also turns out, you know, Toshiro meant to, to lead them to the room, or wait, or I guess maybe he was given false information, because they knew that Bobby might get, yeah, yeah, because they know she's out there, she's working for S.H.I.E.L.D., they're probably going to try to, just so nicely done, just, yeah, this because this is the kind of stuff that, like, intelligence, counterintelligence kind of stuff, yeah. And Grant actually says to Coulson, I'm part of the team. Like, he legitimately still... Yeah, he he tells himself that he is still part of the team, and it slipped out. You know, this is not the first time that he said that. It's probably just the first time he's said it out loud to an actual member of the team. So just, yeah, so, so nicely done. Really, really tells us where his head is at. And Coulson points out both brothers you know, see the same angles. And it's just fantastic with, with Agent Walters. You know, how how did you find us? You know, I, you know there, there are agents, you know, I followed them here, just wow. And yeah, they realized S.H.I.E.L.D. agents will be like fish in a barrel. And, yeah, you know, the, the guy tells the assassin, do what you do best. Which is weird, because I don't see a, a yak for him to milk anywhere in the room. Oh, you mean the, the, other, the other thing. Okay, that makes way more sense than what I was thinking of. And Lance just, like, opens the door and is like, so, what's the... Come on, let's calm down here, guys. There's some great beer right down that just ask for Zoe. She'll hook you up. You know what? You look like you could use a beer. Here, go ahead and have it. The face! So, so dour. And, you know, yeah, the assassin's like, okay, dude, you've got ten seconds to explain what's going on here. You know, what are you doing here? before we kill you, you know, this is not, just, yeah, and, you know, the, yeah, for just a second there, there's this thing of, oh no, has Lance actually betrayed the team, you know, he says, so, I hear you're out to, to take out Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., well, I happen to know one, no, no, some, and they needed 90 seconds to get into position. And the assassin's like, wait, what? You know, and yeah, they they get it. Just very, very nicely done. He he was just a distraction for the just yeah. 
and May fighting the assassin, and he's got the the thing that like extends, and he can swing it just so so nicely done. And Bobby does acknowledge that Lance has now saved her life three times in one day. And yeah, Mac and Simmons talk about Fitz and Mac blunt as he is, you know, he is a mechanic, he's not, if you want tact, you go for a tactician, you know, that's not Mac's thing, and he, you know, he straight up says, the only thing I've seen him, I've seen make fits worse, is you, and she says, you know, that's, why do you think I left, you know, and it is, yeah, she legitimately thought, that that was the best thing she could do for him. And, yeah, Ward is being walked out in handcuffs. I don't know if that move, I know that they do that in real life as well, and it does, it is obviously, you know, I can imagine that it has a deterring effect. You know, nobody wants to be walked past all the people they know, walked out of their workplace or school or whatever, in handcuffs, you know. But I do like to think that it was originally conceived by a filmmaker, because it's just such an effective way. You know, you get every character's reaction to the the walking out, and you get the, the, the con gets to try to say just a few more words to, to the person, you know, and he tries to say something to Sky, and I don't know if Simmons knows something that she doesn't want Sky to know, but she, you know, she steps in front of Sky, interrupts Ward, and very directly threatens him, which, like, holy crap, did not think she had it in her, and you know we get some more great intercutting a lot of a lot of great intercutting on the show already you know christian delivering the 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 speech talking you know tim decay fantastic acting i've seen him in some other things and i don't remember ever being unhappy with a performance of his and you know yeah he's he's trying to talk about how this you know, he, he wants to hold his brother accountable, and we see Ward escape. You know, he... We, and, and I believe it is accurate that if you break the... the uh, let's see. Because it's like, it's not quite his wrist. I think it's like his... He, he breaks his thumb in a very specific place on one hand and then he can slip the handcuffs off that hand I think that is accurate you know they weren't really invented <laughs> handcuffs were invented and are still used because of the assumption that no one's gonna break their own you know you, you'd have to you'd have to snap your wrist or break your thumb or something like that in order to get out of handcuffs and who's gonna be willing to do that you know, so, yeah, and he, he manages to, to escape, and, yeah, very, very cool setup for, for future episodes, uh, you know, we are, at this point, I guess, a fourth of the way through season two, so, yeah, they have plans for his character for the rest of the season, I'm sure, and the post credit scene is a guy getting the the map tattooed on his body. And yeah, that's another thing that I'm really, really Yeah. Very, very excited to see where that goes. Right. And yeah, so so I'm to be trivia. In the comics, Mark Scarlatti is the villain Whiplash. And yeah, hence the whip like weapon. Oh right, yeah, right, yeah. Whiplash, the the, I want to say, I believe that's an Iron Man villain. Um, let's see. Ah, right, yeah. There's multiple 
But yeah, one of them is Scarlatti and yeah, Iron Man's Rogues Gallery. Because yeah, the you know in the movies in the MCU, the they did one vi Whiplash. It was uh, you know um, Ivan Vanko and. Oh, that's right. Yeah, in the in the comics, Anton Vanko. Wait. Uh, yeah, it looked looks like. And anyway, but yeah, you know, so they they weren't gonna do another Whiplash, so they do a slight variation on it instead. And. Oh, right, and they use the WHIH news, which, yeah, uh, you know, in Iron Man 2, it covered the Stark Expo, it also covered the battle at Culver University in The Incredible Hulk, and, oh, and yeah, they later made a web series, they even brought back Leslie Bibb uh, to, yeah, so that she could comment on things that happen in the MCU. Very cool. Is that still... So it's called the WHIH News Front. Um, appears that it is on YouTube. Very cool. Um, yeah, so... And the, yeah, so the relationship between Grant and Christian Ward on the show, similar to the relationship of Simon and Eric Williams in the comics. And, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah, uh, the, the beer Hunter offers is indeed one of the many brews Bruges has to offer. It's been exported to different countries for years. And its original brewery is still there, which means if Hunter was telling the truth, the safe house is located in the center of Bruges, close to the River Ray. And let's see. Yeah, and the title appears designed to evoke the biblical house divided against itself image, reflecting the condition of Shield post the Hydra betrayal, and the inability of the Ward clan to get on the same page. Yeah. So, I think that is what I have to say. I'm going to real quick skim the I'm to be memorable quotes. Let's see. Right, and yeah, so the... Yeah, um, May and Hunter talking about, like, yeah, he, he had a hickey on his neck for a week after their mission in Miami. Let's see. And... Yeah, someone did indeed submit Melinda May interrupting Lance and, and saying, you know I don't like you, right? And... I think that might be... Yeah, and some of Ward and Coulson talking. Let's see. Has also been submitted. They are really excellent lines. And... I think... Yeah, and yeah, it has the Coulson, you know, responding to Ward saying, I'm still part of your team. And yeah, love the line, maybe you two are more alike than you think, Coulson about, to War to Grant about Christian. And I think... Uh, 
Um, that might be about. Yeah, and the the as a as a kid, Grant, you know, told his parents that Christian forced him to attack Thomas, the youngest. And yeah, just really, really love that twist so nicely. Yeah. And it is, you know, there are sadly a lot of real life abusers who, you know, I'm, I'm it's, uh, at the risk of overusing a phrase because I realize that it has been severely overused. I do think it is accurate to say that Grant gaslights people. You know, he, he convinces others that the bad things are not his fault. You know, so, so yeah, really, you know, he's he was clever enough to, from the start, the first time on the show we hear him talk about the torture, from right away he says, I was the one who did it. But he does say, you know, Christian forced me. So when Christian is confronted, you know, it's not... Because, you know, I can imagine the parents know both of them well enough to know. And, and Thomas would say, no, it wasn't Christian, it was Grant who attacked me. You know, but if he claims that Christian forced him to, yeah, very, very, yeah. And let's see. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, and early in the episode, Christian says, it's time I do what I should have done months ago, Put shield in the ground for good, and you know the f yeah. Um, we come to realize that's not necessarily it's not necessarily that he's evil. You know, he he might actually believe that it is. Yeah, so so very nicely done on. Because the moment that we, you know, that we see, oh, this is Christian, we're like, oh, the, you know, he forced Grant to torture their, the, the youngest brother. But over the course of the episode, we realize, uh, yeah. And, <clears throat> yeah, Lance is, you know, considering leaving, and Bobby you know says I'm still trying to figure out where I fit into just don't die out there all right but if you want to stay stay and yeah wards uh, Chris see from most of the episodes leading up to this one when I say ward I obviously mean grant but yeah now I gotta keep in mind to, to specify which brother but yeah Christian's entire monologue to, to the press about the, you know, Shield and Hydra and his brother he has also been submitted, and yeah, very, very, you know, well written, well delivered, well edited, and yeah, just really really great episode I I yeah and I think that might be it so yeah um, in future episodes if Lance does indeed stay with the team on the team I hope for more of May, just making it clear to him that she does not like him. That was that was very very fun, not for him, but for the rest of us. <laughs>